The search is over. The man suspected of brutally beating his girlfriend is now in custody. Officers tracked him down in Michigan City, Indiana, nearly a week after the assault near Kalamazoo. 24 News 8 Steve Kelso spent the day in Michigan City. He's now live in Kalamazoo. Steve? Yeah, good evening. I was actually in Benton Harbor at almost exactly the same time that I got the alert about Arthur Payne's arrest. I was there to pick up this. This is a copy of the 911 call that was made in this case, and you're going to hear more about that in just a second. Since I was fairly close, I drove to the address of the arrest in Michigan City to learn more. Police there tell me that they went to 142 Carwick at the request of the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department. They say they were able to arrest Payne about 10 o'clock this morning, Indiana time, without incident. In the driveway was a blue Lincoln Town car that is registered to victim Stephanie Jansen. That car is also mentioned in the 911 call as the car Arthur Payne took off in. Michigan City police were forced to transport Payne to St. Anthony's Hospital in Michigan City when they discovered an injury to his hand. All they will tell me about that is that it is minor and he had it before they showed up. Now to the 911 call. It was made early Thursday morning just before 2 a.m. by Alice Jansen, the victim's mother, after her nine-year-old grandson discovered his mother had been beaten. And because of where Alice Jansen lives, the call went automatically to Berrien County Central Dispatch, who then called Kalamazoo. I want you to pay attention to the obvious stress in Alice Jansen's voice as she describes the beating. My grandson is on the phone. His mother has been beaten. Um, he said that her teeth are out. She's bleeding. He, she has been assaulted. By who? Her boyfriend. He took the baby. He took the, um, the two-year-old. Who's he? He is Arthur Crenat. Uh, uh, Arthur Payne. Tonight, those two children are safe. Stephanie Jansen continues to recover, and Arthur Payne remains in LaPorte County, Indiana jail, awaiting extradition on multiple felony charges back here in Kalamazoo County. Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.